What up, party people? It's Dan eighty four back with some more games and my random uh, can open ASMR. This time at the head during the introduction, because why the hell not? Gotta enjoy my monster at some point today. We are going to be playing a game you might not have heard of. Uh, it's a random one. I saw, I think I saw someone else play it, but. I'm down to give it a shot. Empires of the Undergrowth. Uh, currently in early access, still on Steam. Uh, it looks like the release date, as it was stated on there, was December 1st, 2017. So I'm guessing that's when it started its early access trip. Uh, so we are just over two years it's been in early access. Um, as everybody knows, some games go to early access, and that's where they stay. And some come out and actually aren't bad. Uh, this one actually looked really cool. I like the idea of it. It is... Um, What's my short description? Say the story of ants, but it's not a cartoon movie, of course. It's not a Disney movie. It's a regular game. But you are, uh, it's an ant colony sim management game. Uh, and I think that's what interested me, just because it's a random ass thing. But it actually looks really cool, at least what I saw of it. Uh, the narrator, or the storyteller, whatever he is, he sounded really cool. Uh, so I figured I wanted to give it a shot. I bought it a little bit ago, uh, but have not gotten to try it. But today... We are trying it, even though all these lights are making me... You know, during the daytime, I noticed the uh, the amount of lighting I probably need is less, but because it just washes out my whole face, making me look like I never go outside. But you can see the pretty blues, if you came for the pretty blues. If you didn't, then, you know, they love you. Uh, but here we are. Uh, here we go. Let us see what this has to do for it. It looks like a good old RPG there. First and foremost, let's get some audio turned down just a smidge. Uh, we'll keep the effects up and the voice up for now. Uh, should be good for you guys. Yeah, it's barely, barely registering on the old scientific game. We've added a whole new tier to the Formicarium, featuring the iconic leaf cutter ants in two levels there reinforced environment all done the size we're doing our best to make sure our patches are glitch free as possible but there's always a chance as of course it's early access so hopefully we won't run into any um yeah and they're still working on it of course I, they did a beta test that ran through christmas and um so yeah it looks like they're still trying to get it done which i think would be cool colony name uh no 84s Ants. I'm so creative. Colony color. Um, you know what? Let's leave it red just to get it going. Just so we can enjoy red ants and make it easy to see. Ooh, what the heck is going on here? Ah, I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It's it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism we should be patient Poly who? the colony Poly who? first i've placed food nearby then we will introduce the formica fusca and observe the reaction excellent keep me updated on okay this is your hub from which you will launch levels upgrade your colony your home colony and put it to test the formicarium has two types of resources uh you will not see in other levels and receive more of these by playing other levels territory limits the number of tiles you can mark for excavation. Progress. Okay. From time to time, notifications with an eye symbol or tips with a light bulb will appear here. Right-click the icon to remove it or disable it in the options menu. Additionally, you can disable that type for this level from the top right of this box. Interesting. To expand your colony, you're going to need some space. When no tool is selected, left-click an underdog tile will mark it for excavation. If the worker can reach the tile, they will head to it and dig it out just south of your queen is some food marked by a green outline uh, okay try marking the tiles between your queen and the food for excavation oh, okay looks like it's right here so let's mark that out they're beginning to expand their territory excellent news give her a nice wide berth
Cool. I am taking over. My finances food, it will pick it up, bring it back to the colony where it can be used, provided you have storage space. Aw, the queen has storage space limits too? Uh, once it's stored in your nest, the value of the food will be added to your resource counter in the top right. Must be this one. Uh, and it can be spent on tile improvements or hatching new ants. Well, it looks like she just hatched out some new ants, so... Now you have some resource to consider building some new workers. Select the nurseries tab from the bottom right and select the Formica Ereptor Erept worker. You can now mark you can mark any dugout area with the worker as for you can mark any dugout area as a worker tile improvement. Note you spend resources to mark the area an idle worker will continue to build the tile improvement. Alright, so uh was it the upgrade tool? I believe she said, uh, yes, yeah, select nurseries. Okay. An idle worker may bring an egg from the queen to a nursery tile. These eggs develop and eventually hatch a new ant's colony. Your population is limited to one per nursery tile of that type of ant. When an ant dies, the egg on the tile it was born can hatch for a cost. The queen has begun to lay new eggs. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. How do you increase storage? I could have swore I just said that. Allows upgraded tile, increasing its performance and improving ant spawn on it. The upgrade. Alright. Uh, your nest design will affect how your colony performs. Ants receive a movement speed penalty when they walk on a nursery tile improvement. So building corridors and closed off rooms will allow faster movement around the nest. Corridors can be improved with the speed improvement tile to increase the efficiency of nest movement. Okay. In the bottom middle of your screen is your pheromone marker. It must be this thing right here. Assign PEM. Assignment panel. Your ants are displayed here in a group based on the room and hovering them will highlight the room. Drag your ants from the nest group into the first group and then right click on a dugout tile. Your ants will notice the marker and head to it. So, okay. Uh, then right click on a dugout tile. Your ants will notice the marker and head to it. In the top left is your level select dialog. From here you can see available levels and also four mechanium challenges. Selecting a level will take you to a standalone level and winning will provide you with rewards for the four mechanium. Four mechanium challenges will put your four mechanium column to the test. Make sure you're prepared by selecting one. Let's get rid of some of these tips here. I didn't see an upgrading storage, so, you know, there's that. Uh, let's see if we can figure that out. Show creature, okay. Allows the colony to store up to 10 food on this tile. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just putting them all down everywhere. Yeah, get that food. Get that money. A far the far left group in your pheromone marker assignment panel is the nest group. Workers in this group will do jobs around the nest. This includes digging, carrying aids, nursing, building tile improvements, upgrading them. Okay. Uh, I'm out of territory points now, whatever those were. Once you're ready, open the level sub dialog in the top left and select a level to play. New home is recommended at the first level. Alright, so... Probably gonna have to go to the level select. Level select. Uh, new home. Choose difficulty. Let's try medium. Let's see what's going on here. Whoa, hey. Hey, oh. 
Outside the form continues is free and there's no such tech tree. These levels are set up with units so you can build tile upgrades on back another. On winning these missions, you can select reward and take back your hunker. This Formica Fusker queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food. These wood worm will not fight back, and once killed can be taken back to your nest. They provide 25 food for your colony. Okay. And there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. I don't know why they can't take care. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be yes. butchered and carried off for processing. Oh, I don't have enough food to build that tile yet. Get him. Bring back all this food, man. All right, clearly you guys don't feel it's necessary to bring in the food. In addition to workers, the Black Ant Colony can produce soldiers. These are, com these are combat units and will not perform nest jobs. Although they can pick up and harvest food, they deal much more damage than workers and have more health. Yes, that's what I want. It's combat units. Okay. I guess we'll go this way. Got my number two unit ready to go. Get in there, number the two. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. Looks like we did overwhelm them, so take that. The level of the dark scope will attack and it's there. They have medium damage by fast, but we want to take a group of them only when you outnumber them. Their corpses provide 15 If the ants have disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. I just want to know how come we can't drop a ton of these freaking soldier ants down, man. All right, uh, let's go dig out some of this garbage. Get them. Excellent. 
So I think you have to be here on this universal command, maybe, to get them to just go wherever I was clicking. And then build more food. about to be a battle anyways okay so yeah that is how you control them there are intruders in the nest Get him, group two. Once a tile is surrounded by six tiles of the same type or walls, it can be upgraded. From the build menu, select Upgrade. You will now see tiles that can be upgraded to note by a completely green circle. Click on them to mark them for upgrade. An upgrade costs the same as the base tile. Well, that's generous. Uh, I can't upgrade the rest? Alright, fair enough. So let's make another stack of those and then let's put a few more workers up so let's do let's do workers over here because we can't go any further this colony must remain okay. small for now nah. food is too scarce to support greater numbers so you say but just you wait the colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. We'll get some food, don't you worry. We'll put everybody on the food. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. What? Oh, okay, we got him. I was gonna say, damn, did we get wiped out? They need to go pick up this food. It's just going to waste. Yeah, pick that stuff up, man. Look, there's one right here. There's a couple right there. Come on, guys. Group two. Have you go dig up this way. So a tile surrounded by two by level two tiles can be upgraded to level three. Each upgrade makes the ants produced by that tile more powerfully, and at level three, they will often gain an extra ability. Like that one. Yep. Everybody needs to come over. There are intruders in the nest. Where's my group two, man? And my group one. Slackers, all of them. Yeah, this is where we're getting our upgrades from, fools.
Trying to make this a chore for everybody. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. What do we got here? Wood lice have thick armor, will take a while to kill. Their hunker down ability provides them with increased defense, reducing physical damage. Once killed, they can be harvested by one ant at a time for 40 food. All right, get group two up in here. Although these guys seem pretty harmless. Yes, harvest them all for food. There we go. Uh, the ants assigned to pheromone markers cannot be told to not gather food or not attack from the buttons to the right of the assignment panel. Oh, can be told to not gather food or not attack. Okay, this can be used to stop an attack squad from picking up food they encounter or to gather food in the heat of battle. Make sure to turn these back on once finished with them. All right. So everybody's gonna do Everybody's gonna do their either attack or gather food. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. Workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. So I have to wait for more food. Oh, I can hold a ton of food now. Sky is the limit, as they say. Have a photo mode? I'm sure it probably does. Maybe it's hidden behind fancy menus. Are they still picking stuff up? Come on, group two, let's set the charge over here. No, they're not picking anything up. Group one, get over here and do your job. All right, group two, get in there. Group one, why not? Some pretty epic music for these ants. Look at that. Yeah. Take them suckers back. What do we got going here? I think we need some more of these genius ants. Give them their own little... Their own little section. Let's get some angry ants again, too. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. So it says you. Things are about to blow up. I kind of regret putting that one there, but you know, what are you gonna do? Kind of try to speed it up a bit, I guess. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. 
All right. Well, I've got a butt ton, so. I guess I gotta go this way. Yep. Team two, let's have you Most ready to go. Predators yeah. are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. And all 26 ants I have. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Well, we're making food. Oh man, I'm gonna die, ain't I? Well, that's what happens when you get too big too fast. The ants must protect the queen. Well, she's screwed. There's too many of them. I mean, it's taking them a while to take her down. Okay, yeah. That sounded like she died. The queen has fallen. Her body will be dissected and her untended brood pillaged. Most young ant colonies will end this way. Just another meal for the creatures of the undergrowth. Wow. My ant colony ended that way. That was 15 minutes? Wow. Wow! Return to Formicarium. Now that I slightly know a little bit of what I'm doing. Seeds have been dropped. Where? In order to access the surface, you'll need to mark the surface tunnel to be excavated. To the very north of your queen is the surface tunnel. Left-clicking this will mark it for excavation. Resources gained from levels will be dropped under your former carry on the surface. All right, so there, I guess, is the tunnel. So I guess it would behoove me to build out. Where are they at? Come on, guys. So what are we, are we going to go outside now? Oh, they're going to get... Oh, hey. hey oh. Surface is wide and open space that, that may have other creatures, colonies, or hazards. Control on the surface is very much the same as underground. Ants assigned to a pheromone marker will form a trail through the surface to the marker. So where's the seeds? Oh, uh, those are rocks. I don't know what that is, but go grab it. If that's what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, you are supposed to do that. Alright, cool. Alright, so we have... Well, we need to pick up these things too, man. You guys just do your thing. All right, so let's go, let's try that again. Level select. Let's try easy. Let's see if we can get it on easy. Is this gonna be the same? Yeah, okay, it's gonna be the same tips. This so. Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. 
Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry cre creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. Uh, this food. colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. I was trying to build food, but you know, whatever. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Let's try to build a little smarter this time. All right, we don't have enough food to build that tile, so we'll come back for that. Actually, I want to send them over here. Only got two. Oh, we already know about soldier units. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. So I guess the right idea would be to build up slowly. Especially before going up to this area. I mean, it looks like, whoa, it looks like there's tons of food up there, but I guess we're going to need to build up slightly slowly. Let's try to get... The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus olens the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is, fu armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the ants are disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Yeah, as we learned. So let's put the... Let's do my separation like we had them. But now that we've got them coming in groups. Let's do that. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Alright, so let's get team one. Let's get team two standing by. All right, team one. Team two. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Good, they got it, okay. So a little bit of strategy, it would appear, obviously.
try to run my upgrades accordingly. Where are these guys coming from? All right, I don't want to upgrade too fast. I think that was my mistake the last time. All right, so team, you're gonna go on team one. Team one's my diggers. Uh, actually, let's go this way. All right, so we got. Oh, we're going to have to go through there anyways. It would seem. Let's try to get that hauled back. if there was anything too rough over here I have team two at the ready here predators are loose in the nest the larvae must be protected Okay, so that worked out. Yeah, grab that sucker. So I need to not deplete my resources too bad because even if I'm upgrading, that's fine. But obviously if I upgrade too much, I can't actually afford to take the hit. Let's go, I mean, either way, our paths are all gonna be that direction. Uh, once tiles surrounded by six tiles, same type of wall that can be upgraded. Okay, we read that. Uh, tiles surrounded by two tiles can be upgraded. Okay, we read that too, last match. So let's see. None of these, these can be upgraded, but I don't wanna watch, I wanna watch for not over upgrading, but we do wanna get, some workers here can I dig this out I can I should have went this way with the honeycomb pattern that it mentioned let's go this direction I guess team one get over there team two stand by I see why you'd probably want to have some stay near the queen too to protect her as like a last ditch. I wonder if we could snake around this way. Is in the nest. Shit. Where's everybody at, man? Are you guys on lunch break? These wood lice will make a significant addition to the addition to the colony's larders. 
but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Feel like I've got no control. They start hauling away the food. There they go. Okay, they're taking it away. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Well, we're still bringing in the food. What's left of it? Got my worker ant hauling. Or my attack ant. Now let's get everybody Like I'm missing ants, like my numbers, I feel like there should be more. Kind of want to have them cut right through here. Come on, workers, make some space. Yeah, make it faster. Come on, there's a whole loop around here. I need my number twos that they're ready here. There are intruders in the nest. Everybody attack. Yes, excellent. Excellent. All right, let's uh This is going to be the tough challenge here. Look at all that food though. So we just have to strategically plan a way to take them out. So let's try adding, can I add more? Workers, come over here and do this stuff.
This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Alright, well... Well, look at this food just laying here. Somebody take this back. Yeah, okay. I'll say I'm assuming that's what they're going to do. There are intruders in the nest. Hopefully they can take all of them out. We've got them at a nice bottleneck. I think, I think we're gonna win. Yes, it looks like we won. So once we clear out this section, we can move to this section and maybe get some more uh, fighters or something. I think we have enough workers. And I think we have enough food stores. Yeah, we're up to like 740. So I don't know what, I don't know optimally. There's not many ant simulation games out there, so. Not sure optimally how to spec all this, but I have a feeling that at least upgrading my ants is smarter. Um, all right, I guess I know that's gonna say that's all I can do for there. So build this stuff, somebody. I guess you might want to save one colony for an area. Get it, number ones. Oh, these are all my fighters. That's why they're not doing the anything. Colony is starving. There's yeah. not enough food to feed the new brood. Don't worry, number ones are on the way. And there's yeah, there's food right here. It's just going to be way worse when I get to that other section. All right. So rather than work on expansion now, oh, I just saw that objective right there. Like this is my first time seeing that. Um, rather than work on expanding any further, now we're going to work on the objective, I suppose. I want to make some easy paths here. So in case they have to call in reinforcements. So let's go here, here. Team two, team one. Predators are loose in the nest. Definitely need team the two on that. must be protected. We got a nice bottleneck again. If we can get it to open up. Okay, good. I need to turn off the gather food mid-fight, but so far it hasn't seemed to be screwing me yet. It's risky. I could take these guys out, but I think we'll go for this section here. So let's get some digging started. Bullshit, my ants can't collect anymore. Watch me do that. Oh, 
Oh, we got a good number going. Hold on. Okay, we got somebody doing upgrades over here. So it looks like, what are we at? 16, 16 workers and 18 killers, trained killers. All right, let's get them going. Because our objective Predators is to loose in the nest. take all the these fools out. To be protected. I mean, they're making pretty short work of everything. Random dog in the background barking. Well, it's not a random dog, it's my dog. Well, knock it off didn't work. All right, uh, let's go. Let's go. We're on a hot streak. Let's go this way first. Hopefully that doesn't. Yeah. All right. Let's open that up. This one guy. What is one person doing here? Come on, workers. Dang. All right. Now. There are intruders in the nest. Okay, good, we got them. Put some speed up tiles there because you know I'm gonna need quick quick acting uh, buddies here I want to make a couple more combat ants if I can bring my workers all the way back. Number two can stay up there. I'll bring my workers all the way back to fix this up. This colony must okay. remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Wow. You just hold your horses, buddy. Intruders in the nest. Get him. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Oh, we got food coming. Don't you worry. Yes, there we go. It's Christmas. Everybody get in there. Get some food. So I think my numbers are good where they're at right now. Like I honestly don't think, I don't think I should, uh, I'll speed up their travel maybe a little bit. Just in case we got reinforcements that have to come through, we're going to need them to kind of move fast. All right, so let's go. Um, 
I kind of want him to be able to speed through here because I'm. I think I'm gonna hit it from this side. Get all this food, and then we'll take out kind of our last stand there. All right, so let's go. Have everybody kind of all in on this one. So we've got a good food stores, it looks like. The only thing that sucks, it looks like the only way to come into this is like head on. Um Alright, let's get group one here and group two here. And then we'll turn off their food gathering. Yeah. All right, group one. There are intruders in the nest. Oh, what's this guy? The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected Oof. by... Is aggressive, has a large health pool and powerful, but slow by it will periodically spray in front with a foul smelling secretion which confuses the ant it hit by. It will take large force take down, but can be harvested by two ants at a time for a total of 100 foot. Protected okay. by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Should I make more brood then? Is that what you're getting at, buddy? Oh yeah, my... Put one more right there. Get, a, get some workers on this thing. I did all that work to speed it up there, but I really am gonna need to speed it up here. So let's throw. Okay, good. So now we've got all of these. So we've got a ton of these fighter ants coming out. We've got decent stocks on the food. I think we might be ready for the last assault. We got team two racked up here. Let's get team one up here. So we got all of the fighter ones here. What's the other ones doing? Okay, they're coming. All right, let's, uh, let's prepare ourselves for hopefully a win. There are intruders in the nest. Everybody. Oh man, there's two big ones too. Oh man, the the workers are just getting annihilated. There goes the scary pheromone. I got one confused one fighting off solo over there. Yeah, that wasn't gonna end well. Oh my goodness. That was rough. Oh, we did it. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the queen is safe. And happy. 
Choose a reward for your formicarium. So extra food, extra territory. Let's see, territory allows you to mark areas for excavation in your form formicarium. One tile can be marked for each point of territory. Extra food. Food is used to create new tile improvements, upgrade existing tile improvements, and hatch pupae into adult ants. Make sure you have enough storage to replenish your numbers if you're expecting a long fight. See, that's what we learned at the end of that one. And then extra royal jelly. Uh, royal jelly is used to acquire new species of ants or upgrades for those species. Do this from your tech tree in the top left. Let's go with royal jelly. Um, I feel like being able to upgrade, let's end level, because we pretty much took everything out there. So that took a half hour. Jeez, this game, I like it. Uh, score 14,000. Uh, spoils for your formicarium, so we got some extra royal jelly, yada yada. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can do uh, for the... How is the colony progressing? Spare jelly can be used to make minor improvements to your creatures. To do this, open the tech tree, select any species you have already unlocked, and select the improvements icon. The more minor upgrades you buy the for a creature, the more expensive they become. The okay, cool. Exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. We need the uh, ants to come out here. Come take this stuff down. While we're waiting, let's check the check tech bleh, check the tech check the text tech tree. Wow. All right, so we've got queen thief ant formica raptors queens lay eggs for species. No, lay eggs for the colony and may have multiple species within the same colony. Gene thief worker. Former care raptor workers do various jobs, including excavation, construction, egg carrying, and food gathering. Black ant melee attacking former gains attack speed of level three, which we don't have 75 royal jelly, um, and we don't have 150. So it looks like these are the two. Um, workers do various jobs, including excavation, construction, egg carrying, and food gathering. I really want to add the fighter, but for now, let's go. Do I want to do this? Let's, let's upgrade the queen. What was the book thing? Hold on. Oh, doesn't say nothing. So let's upgrade the queen. Let's do... Where did I have this? At 10? And then I think this got to 7? Yeah, let's try that. Alright, let's get the team back inside. For a powwow. Oh, okay, there's my queen. Duh. That's what we were upgrading. Yeah, so all we have down here in this one is worker ants. So. We'll work to make this section and this section. So we can get that grid like they were talking about. Uh, like right here. And then also, I don't know if I have enough food. I do. So that way we can expand out our own colony down here. And then maybe down here we'll have some of our fighters or something. And then we can uh, look around at some of the other areas and stuff like that. But for now, here we go. Uh, save. For now, uh, let's call it quits. It's been about that time. Uh, yeah, save and quit. I'm glad you double asked me to make sure I didn't do that. I hate sometimes when they don't. Uh, but for now, we'll call it quits. That was Empires of the Undergo. Checking it out for the first time for me. Uh, pretty interesting. Pretty cool. I know there's got to be a photo mode somewhere in here. Uh, so I'll have to check into that too because I would be interested in taking some cool screenshots or some cool photos. Uh, but other than that, I enjoyed the game. Uh, hopefully it will continue to uh, keep being worked on. 
uh, while it's in early access, and then we'll see more of it. So if you want, you can check it out on Steam uh, right now, early access. I don't know if it's anywhere else. I haven't looked that up. But, of course, when I do the video, uh, down in the below, I usually put where you can find every game I play and uh, obviously music credits and all that other stuff. But uh, there should be a link for Steam down there and anywhere else if I find it. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time when we're probably not playing with ants, but you never know. Uh, I mean, this will be in a playlist where there's ant game. So maybe we will be. And disassociate. That's just the way it goes. I bet you'd rather know. Dead, you know, the band. The band. You can't really see it. Man, the lighting washes out every get damn thing. Dead the band. You know? Dead the band from Phoenix. You know, from Phoenix, Arizona, don't you know?